This is the Misfit Vegan Podcast, episode 44. When I was a kid, I used to think that nobody cared about me, that nobody loved me, that nobody wanted me. And so I grew up and I didn't care about me. I didn't want to be me. I didn't love me. And I found people that didn't care about me, that didn't want to be with me, that didn't love me. And they might have said they did, but they didn't because, and we know what the truth is because, guys. Words are who you want to be. Actions are who you actually are. And I'm not blaming those people, those partners, those friends, those coworkers, those people in my life that I manifested because I manifested them. Because you will always manifest people in your life that treat you the way that you think you deserve to be treated. We don't get in life what we want. We get in life what we expect. I think that was Wayne Dyer that said that. What are you expecting? How are you feeling about yourself? I'm really inspired right now, even though I seem kind of serious and sad, but um, I'm really inspired because I want to reach out and tell you if you are someone who is scared, who is alone, who is outnumbered, who has all the odds against them, who doesn't have anything to show for years and years of work, years of trying, I know how you feel. You're not alone. Okay, and if you also grew up like me and felt like nobody loved you, you didn't have anything, you didn't have anyone, you had no one to rely on, you had, you had, no, you had no safety net, then you probably grew up really fast. And you're probably extremely, extremely responsible and it's probably hard for you to trust people and it's probably hard for you to have fun and not feel guilty because you just grew up so goddamn fast that fun was not something that you were allowed to do you had to take care of everyone and you had to work and you had to be on guard 24 7 um, and I'm just talking hypothetically. Obviously, I'm talking about myself, but I, I just want you to know, if you feel me, then um, I understand where you're coming from and what you're dealing with. And um, I want you to know that there is a beautiful, beautiful life that you can manifest, okay? First of all, you've got to look at what you have right now. If you are feeling low, if you are feeling down, depressed, alone, like a failure, okay? I know that feeling very, very well. And what got me out of that is to start feeling grateful. There is no higher vibration than love and gratitude all right, so before we can start to make changes, we have to start being grateful for something. You know, I write a list every morning of 10 things I'm grateful for, and they don't have to be big things. They don't have to be small things. They can be whatever I want. They can be the same things every day. They can be something new. It doesn't matter. The point is to put you in a state of gratitude. We cannot expect a good life. We cannot expect to manifest 
things to be grateful for until we feel grateful first. It's such, it's such a dichotomy, I understand, but you have to feel it first in order to manifest more of it. And that sucks. And that's why most people, it doesn't suck. It just is what it is, right? It's a law. It's the law of the universe. But this is why most poor people stay poor and why most rich people stay rich and keep making more money because they feel rich. So they're going to make more money and people feel poor. So they're going to stay poor and you might feel fat. And so you're going to stay fat and you might feel like a loser and you're going to stay doing the actions that a loser does. And you might feel like you have um, an eating disorder and you're going to stay having that eating disorder until you start to change your paradigm. We have to change if we want anything else to change, okay? And it's going to be hard. Why do you think nobody changes? Why do you think people are miserable? Can you, do you know one person living their dream, living their dream life besides me? <laughs> I'm not living my dream life yet, but I'm on the way. I'm living a dream, but my dream, I mean, we're 43 episodes in. What is it, 43, 44? If you don't know my dream by now, you have not been paying attention. And that's okay, because... Um, I wouldn't either. I would just put this shit on in the background. Um, my dream is to open a chain of fruit cafes, boo. Hello. Like, totally. Have you not been listening? No, but um, I have a lot of dreams, but that's one of them. I want to inspire. I want to inspire 1 billion people to go vegan. I want to open a chain of fruit is life cafes, blah, blah, blah. I have lots of dreams. Um, oh, I want to have a watermelon house one day. I want to live in a giant watermelon house, which is like a museum. And actually, to be honest, I would love for there to be a watermelon boat and it's like a tour. Okay, so it's a tourist attraction and people go on the boat. And of course, I'm the tour guide, of course, obviously. And um, I take them on the boat and then they go to the house, the watermelon museum, and then they try all these varieties of watermelons and all these beautiful watermelon accessories everywhere. Everything's made of watermelon. There's a swimming pool. There's watermelons. Everything's watermelon. Okay, let's get back to the um, value. Um, guys, even years of slow steps takes you further than 10 lifetimes of no steps. I'm going to say that one again. I heard this in a video this morning. I was um, running on the beach and um, I just, this really, this, this really got to me. Years of slow steps takes you further than 10 lifetimes of no steps. If you just do something Something is better than nothing. And Jim Rohn always says, or he used to say, what's easy to do is also easy not to do. Okay? So guess what? You want to get in shape? You want to get in shape? Guess what? Let's get up right now. Okay? I'm serious. I'm serious right now. I just got up. And let's do one push-up. Okay? Hold on. I'll put you on the floor. Boop. <sighs> one. Did you do it? Yo, you playing. Yo, you see, that's why, that's why I'm not, no, I'm not doing this podcast no more because you didn't even get, you didn't get on the floor and do one push up. <laughs> oh, you're driving. Well, guess what? Pull on the side of the goddamn road. Are you serious or not? I'm so sick of y'all. I'm so sick of y'all. Seriously, you want to see progress? You want to see your dream, t your dreams come to fruition? You know, your dream is not going to give up on you. You're going to give up on your dream. That's what the video was about that I was listening to. Our dreams are never 
going to walk away from us. We're the ones who are going to walk away from our fucking dreams. And every fucking dream that you have is, it's your destiny. Don't you understand that? The reason you want something is because you're supposed to fucking do it. You were put here on earth to do it. And you're going to squander the fucking opportunity. Oh, I promised myself I would stop cursing. Fruit. Okay. Focus, Jeanette. Focus. You know what I want to do right now? I want to read an excerpt from my favorite book. I got to find it. Hold on. Oh, it's in the living room, I think. Yeah, I want to read you guys an excerpt from Relentless, which is one of the most important books of my life. Where is this book, though? Why do I keep moving books? I have two different libraries. One is in my living room and one is in my closet. And I keep moving books because I guess I'm trying to show them on when I do lives and stuff. Hmm. Hold on one second. I'm so sorry. Should I pause the um, podcast? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I'm going to have to pause it because I need to find this book. Hold on. Let me look in my closet. I'm sorry about this delay. Um, Wait a minute. Oh, it was here. My bad. Okay, I knew it. All my important books, all my favorite books are kept in my closet. I knew that. Okay. In case we have a fire, I can like quickly run and get them. Not that I couldn't like order them again on Amazon. That doesn't even make sense. Um, All right. So the last page. So Relentless is a book by Tim Grover. And um, such an important book to me because I thought there was something wrong with me before I read this book. And it turns out there is something wrong with me. But... It's a good thing. Um, I'm just not wired like everyone else. And maybe you're not either. Okay, so I got to find it. Oh, here we go. I got it, baby. You ready? Because I'm about to change your light. Are you ready, boo? Okay, here we go. Let me put my, um, let me put my voice on. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Now my voice hurts. That's, I shouldn't have done that. Now my voice hurts. So it's hard for me to talk. Okay. Why did I, why do I do this? Okay. Every dream that you imagine, everything you see and hear and feel in your sleep, that's not a fantasy. That's your deep instinct telling you that it can all be real. Follow those visions and dreams and desires and believe what you know. Only you can turn those dreams into reality. Never stop until you do. The greatest battles you will ever fight are with yourself. And you must always be the toughest opponent. <clears throat> My voice is fucked up. Always demand more of yourself than others demand of you. Be honest with yourself and you'll be able to meet every challenge with confidence and the deep belief that you are prepared for anything. Life can be complicated, but the truth is not. I truly believe that I have zero limitations. You should believe the same about yourself. Listen to your instincts. They're telling you the truth. I want the satisfaction of knowing that every move I make, every thought, every idea, every action takes me further than anyone else has ever gone and makes me better at what I do than anyone else in the world. That is what drives me. Whatever drives you, 
Let it take you where you want to be. Everything you want can be yours. Go get it. Okay. So, sorry, my my throat is <laughs> fucked up <laughs> because I because I did s- <clears throat> my throat is really hurting. I don't know why I was just trying to make you guys laugh and I really hurt myself here. Um, but uh, basically, that is in a little excerpt from Relentless. And there's so many amazing, amazing parts of this book. I highly recommend it. Tim Grover, Relentless, From Good to Great to Unstoppable. He was Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan's trainer. And uh, he's also Dwayne, w- Dwayne Wade's trainer and um, oh Charles Barkley and, uh, you know, all of the, all of the greats. Okay, so... Um, now, <clears throat> I can't really talk normally because <laughs> my throat. Uh, what I wanted to end with is this, okay? There's a lot of directions I could end it with, but here's the one that I want to end it with, okay? There is something that you are good at right now. Yeah, you could get better, sure. But there is something that you love, that you're obsessed with, that really, ex- really like, mm, it lights you up. It make- makes you excited, okay? It gives you a fucking purpose. It makes you feel like you're alive, okay? There is something you love to do. You love to talk about. You love to train people on. You love to help people learn about or, or, or figure out or um, help them do There's something you love and you're really obsessed with it and you're really passionate about it. But you don't think that you can make a living doing that. And you don't think that it's important. And you don't think that it's special enough. And you don't think that you're special enough. And you don't think that it's a good idea. And you don't think that it's smart to go out to do that thing. And you don't think it's realistic. And you don't think that's the right thing to do. You think it's silly, it's stupid, it's childish. You think it's, um, what's the word? A waste of time. You think it's your hobby. You think it's um, just something you, you love to do on the weekends. I'm telling you right now, That is your destiny calling you. Are you going to answer the fucking phone? Uh, Are you going to answer the fruity phone? Or are you just going to let it ring? Mm. 